Five years after they were first charged, the Lagos High Court sitting in the Boucherie area of Lagos Island has finally given a judgment in the murder case of the late Cynthia Osokogo. The facts of the case, as we now know it, is that the 23-year-old postgraduate student of Nasarawa State University was lured to Lagos by a man she met and became friends with on a social media platform, Facebook. The man, 33-year-old Okuomo Nwabufu, promised to help her buy cheap goods for her boutique. But the actual plan was to steal all her money and valuables. And so he procured his nephew, 23-year-old Olisailoka Ezike, the second defendant, to purchase the air ticket to Lagos. It was the second defendant he also sent to buy the chains and sellotape used to gag and choke the victim. He went ahead to secure a room at a hotel in Festa Town area of Lagos. A third defendant, a pharmacist, Ojo Sita, allegedly sold to them a drug which was to be used to sedate the victim. And a fourth defendant, the younger brother to the second defendant, was given the task of selling off the victim's phones. These, in a nutshell, was the case of the prosecution against the four men who stood trial before Justice Olabisi Akinladi. In the course of the five-year trial, ten prosecution witnesses testified, and the four testified each in their own defense. From the testimony and exhibits placed before the court, Justice Akinlade came to the following conclusions. That Cynthia Osokogu died. According to the pathologist who testified for the prosecution, the cause of death was asphyxia, which was not self-inflicted. Asphyxia, an absence of oxygen supply to the body, was caused by the choking and gagging of the diseased. Even though there was no eyewitness account of her death, Justice Akinlade held that by relying on the evidence of the pathologist and a series of circumstantial evidence largely provided by the hotel staff and the men of the Nigerian Police Force Area E, and the confessional statement of the two defendants, she was satisfied that the prosecution had proved the offense of conspiracy and murder beyond reasonable doubt. On the charge of conspiracy to steal and stealing, the court held that the first and second defendant intended to permanently deprive the victim of her valuables, and it was in the process that they callously stole her life. She pronounced them guilty. The court acquitted and discharged the third and fourth defendants on the basis that the prosecution had not successfully proved the case against them. The two convicts were led straight into the waiting prison van. The prosecution declined to comment on the case, but here's how one of the defense counsel reacted. Certainly, we're going to apply for a certified copy of the judgment. We're going to study it. We're going to liaise with our clients. We're going to sit with them. Whether to accept the judgment or to appeal the judgment. The lessons from these judgments are enormous, but it bears reinforcing that some people are not who they claim to be on social media, and everyone will do well to exercise extreme caution in their social media interactions. Shola Shieli, Channels Television News.